I'm so happy to talk with you. Of course. Well, Brittany, let's kind of take it back a little bit, right? Because obviously for me, I've seen your TikToks. A lot of people have seen your TikToks. <laughs> but for anybody who hasn't, how would you kind of describe the incredible content that you put on TikTok? <laughs> I'm walking around the streets, bringing the high fashion energy to the, you know, Saturn, gray streets. I'm still going viral, literally towards to my dreams and goals. So yeah, I always was addicted to the fashion industry, like literally. Since I just came out from my mom's vagina, you know, I always was like, oh my God, the fashion TV, you know, so yeah. Thanks, mom. <laughs> For me, the catwalk, it's literally like the form of art. But the first TikTok, there was like so spontaneous, record me crossing that street, you know? And there was like, bam, like one million in one hour. Bam, like 10 million. So I was like. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> oh, okay. It's so crazy to think that you post this one video, right? And here you are walking in some of the most iconic fashion shows all around the world. To be honest, I still can't believe that, you know, everything, what's going on around me, is it real? Because I was dreaming about that during my whole life. So I'm so grateful for every experience that I had. And I just, you know, it's a fantasy for me. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful. Even the most memorable moment when I got the message from Valentina, I was like, Somebody reminds me how to breathe because I just, I forgot how to breathe, you know, I was like completely speechless. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, such a big fan of the RuPaul's Drag Race, you know. I just, I literally grown up watching this show and just now, even some queens, they follow on me on Instagram and I was like, oh my God. I just I remember you when I was 12. And what I think is so cool, Brittany, is not only have these girls helped you, but you are helping so many people out there because people are coming on your profile and just seeing this trans beauty, this model beauty. I mean, people can't get enough of you. And especially with what's going on in the world right now, like why is it so important for you to kind of show your beauty and show that you're just as fierce as anybody else that might be out there? I always would say I wanted to be that person that I needed when I was younger. Beauty is not about the gender rules, it's all about be yourself and be truly to your aesthetic and just slay. You're not just slaying in fashion, you're not just slaying on TikTok. Girl, you are taking on the music industry and you have this brand new single, Fashion. <gasps> Tell us all about it, girl. So in my new single, Fashion, it's all about this energy that I wanted to spread all over the world. Because listen, when I, was a when I was younger, being a trans kid, I couldn't accept this reality that I used to live in. And I needed some escape, like, you know, to help me to survive, like literally. We have to dream, we have to create our inner world. So my song is about this, like literally. Just turn your world into the high fashion, you know, it's always hell. That's why I love the fashion industry. You can be wherever you want. But all that you have to do, just be confident because that's the key. And if some people around you are gonna say like, oh my God, you're so ridiculous. I don't like your attitude. I can't get it. Just say like, Brittany Manson gonna step on you by her high heels. Period. Period. That's a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap. I have something. I have something. Okay, now I'm excited. <laughs> Wait. One, two. Hi, it's Brittany Manson. You're amazing. Brittany, <laughs> I'm so grateful you took the time to chat with me. I'm so happy we got to meet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to me. Thank you.